see. Alright, awesome. Ready? Yeah. One, two. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here, and today I have a very special guest. Davey Wavy. Hey guys! If you don't know who he is, check out all of his stuff in the description box. Really awesome guy here. Just very focused, entrepreneurial spirit, so we vibe oh, really you. well. Yes. I met Davey last year, actually here, where I play this live. I'm on Grinder. I get pictures all the time where people are like, are you in, you know, like, Canada right now? And I'm like, no, I'm in Oregon. You're talking to me right now. Wouldn't you think I would, you know what yeah. I mean? Plus, like, I'm in, yes, and I'm in a monogamous relationship. Right. So it's like, the married decide, like, I'm monogamous. So you're probably not going to find me on there. So. so I wanted to bring Davey in here because, like I said, I met him last year. And you guys all know how important my morning routine is and just what it's done for my life. Um, in, I started in morning routine like three or four months ago and I've always wanted to do one but I just never just did it, you okay. know what I mean? And so I'd love to jump in and talk about a little bit about more, your morning routine and so little backstory, when I did say last year, oh yeah, I met Davey, blah, 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 and they're like, oh, like he's up at 5 a.m., he goes to bed <laughs> at 10, like you're not going to find him at any of the parties or anything, and I'm like, oh, really? And they were just like very adamant about how kind of like, you know, strict, I don't want to say in like such a like hard way, but like just kind of strict about like making sure you have your set times yes. and you do everything. I'm a little anal retentive okay. in many senses, including that. <laughs> but it's true. I think like as you, maybe we're like two old men talking about like getting yeah. up early. Yeah, like, yeah it's so like, true. Like, but it really, for me, it really works. I think because I have more energy in the morning than I do at night. Yes. And I think like if that's the case, then this is something you can lean into. But if you're a night owl, like it's trying to make a peg a square peg fit in a round hole that's yeah the expression. I think it's fine yeah <laughs> you kind of have to like lean with your strengths in it I have a lot of energy in the morning so yeah that's what I too. do do you feel like you're really creative in the morning too oh yeah because I feel like my most I wake up at six that's kind of my time like mm -hmm. I really like to get up before the sun but now that it's summertime the sun still beats me right and I just can't get up at 5 30 I just can't do it what time do you wake up do you have a scheduled time or do you just go? I wake up naturally, probably okay. somewhere between like five and six. Okay, okay. Um, but I feel like there's something very like, like natural about being like in line with the cycles of the sun. Like yes. sleep when it's dark, be yep. like up when, up the, when the sun comes out. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. feels like you're like in tune with the world and the universe. Mm -hmm. like, this morning actually, I beat Davey to the gym, yeah. which uh, is probably more on the rare side. It was an anomaly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And so for me, I like to get up. I get up at six. I make some tea. I don't have coffee yet. I oh. usually have tea in the morning. He's fancy. Yes. Um, and then I do like, I have, you know, I'm like super spiritual. So I do a morning meditation. Then I pull a card and then I do five gratitudes. I have the big um, dry erase board where I do like mm -hmm. five things I'm grateful for. And mm -hmm. then I pick one thing, a body part since like being trans and just feeling really disconnected to my body my whole life. I try to pick a part of my body that I'm grateful for. Wow. And so I list what that body part does. So like um, the other day, like I was like, Sometimes I get self-conscious about my hairline because like starting tea my hair started to recede mm -hmm. a little bit And so I like drew a picture of my hairline and I put a heart around it And I was like I love my hair because it has a cool flip and it makes me the feel cockatoo. Yes, the cockatoo <laughs> shout out to my mom um, <laughs> And um, so that's kind of like where I start it and then I go to the gym and then I start my day and my mind starts going so do you mind sharing a little bit of kind of what you do when you do wake up, if you have strict yeah. things or if you're more fluid? I love that yours is so like spiritual, that you have your cards. Do you sacrifice a virgin at no, that point? No. It's kind of like a little, a little altar. <laughs> Mine's like- I do like some sage and I like <laughs> cleanse everything. I'm not do you really? Lie. Yeah, I really do. I have Palo Santo <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, well, you're inspiring me to kind of incorporate something that's a little bit more spiritual into my routine. Everyone's got their thing, you know? Mine's very much like, like Shit, shower, brush your teeth, go to the gym. Go to the gym, yeah. And and for me, like going to the gym is literally like brushing my teeth. Like it's, yes, I think for a lot of people, it's like a choice. Do I want to go to the gym today? For me, it's just so embedded in my routine. Yes, that it just happens. It's like the blood pumping. Yeah, like I, I don't even think about it. Yeah, no, no, I just I get up, I brush my teeth, put on my gym clothes, and I'm usually at the gym by like six forty-five. Oh my goodness, seven o'clock. See, I have a good hour. Of like waking up before I actually you gotta sacrifice those virgins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me today, I think I got to the gym at like eight fifteen, which was really late. But it's because we're at playlist and all night there's screaming Stuff fourteen year old on. girls yeah. like 
they were chanting outside the rooms last night yeah singing songs they were singing in the middle of the we were walking in and we couldn't even get through because everyone was just singing and there was like this like one 16 year old like on top of a chair like blah, blah, blah. and i was like okay we're gonna squeeze around the back right. here <laughs> probably with like 15 million like youtube yes, subscribers exactly yes yeah so at 11 30 i went out on my balcony i was like i have a morning routine <laughs> shut up like what's most important to me is getting my eight hours and mm -hmm. and so because i couldn't get to sleep till like 11 30 like that's kind so of so you set your alarm when you go to bed, you're like, you count eight hours ahead and then that's kind of when you wake up. Yeah, that and it's, roughly... a, it's a mental alarm. Oh, Tomorrow, okay. So you don't even have an alarm. I don't. Wow. I, yeah, like the sun comes up and my eyes open. Like, wow. Because that, that snoozy, like, grogginess doesn't really contribute. No. I had a little bit of it today because the sun came up and I was like, all right, I'm not quite at eight hours yet, so let me try to, like... Yeah, get... and you're the opposite side on this room. The sun's on that side. Okay. Right? So it's a little less bright. Yeah, it was still bright and, okay. like, my body was like, come on, up. like, get up. Yeah. Go to the gym. So eventually I did, and there you were on the treadmill. There, there I was. Yeah. Do you did so? Did you? How long have you been doing a morning routine? And do you feel like there is a difference between when you didn't do one to now that you kind of have one that you do, and it kind of feels really natural to you? Um, I have always had the philosophy of like, if you hoot with the owls, you can't chirp with the birds. Mm. And an early and, bird gets the worm. An early bird does get the worm. I don't like worms. Okay. But I like. <laughs> <laughs> but I like. I don't. And and I don't. I like hooting, wait, I like, if I don't hoot with the owls, chir I like chirping with the birds. There we go. That's okay. Like. Okay. <laughs> it took yes. a while to get there. Yes. I pretty much my whole life have kind of been in this pattern. Oh, okay. So, That's great. Yeah, it was never like a conscious decision. Okay. But you feel like it has benefited though? It has benefited you Absolutely. compared to other people who you yeah. know that don't have morning routines that... I get so much done. And I think the other part of it is, and not that I'm advocating this for other people, is, but I don't drink. I never have like at all. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't have hangovers, which I know kind of complicates. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I was out waking last up. night. <laughs> that would still be like, yeah. Yeah. I drink alcohol, but like, I don't drink. I, I, I can't tell you the last time I was like, shoe wasted. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Shoe I'm wasted. like, shoe wasted, you know? Um, I definitely more of like a two, three beer guy. And then I'm like, okay, now I'm getting sleepy. Yeah. And I'm going to go to bed. You okay. know what I mean? So are you still able to do your morning routine? Yeah. yeah. Because I also, I'm like a, like one beer, one drink, like one cup of water. I'm a water fanatic. Mm. Like it's pretty much all okay. I'm drinking. So I think that helps balance it out. Yeah, so, that's you why you have I mean? such nice skin. Oh, I like to think. Compassion. I like to think that it, I didn't get it. I don't have any makeup done today, so yeah. that's a good compliment. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like morning routines are really beneficial. Again, kind of like Davy said, if it falls in line with who you are already. Like yeah. I like to wake up early. I get a lot of. I feel like my creativeness juices are going. And honestly, like. I feel like I'm someone of an old man because, like, if it's 10.30, I'm like, people are like, yeah, let's go out. I'm like, it's 10.30. Like, I'm I'm ready for bed. I'm not Honestly. going out. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, like, my nightmare. Yeah, so yeah. Being, like, uh, like, no. I wonder if, I, I'm curious, maybe I should find a night owl and see if they have nighttime routines. Like, at 8 o'clock, they start to get vibing, and then wow. they, they work on this and work on this, and then at 12, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's more fluid for people at night or, because I, I feel like the structure for me really helps me. Um, so that I know that by 8.30 I need to be on my way to the gym or, or I yes. need to be at the gym by 8.30 on my way at 8.15 or whatever. So. Well, we probably can't do stuff at 10.30 at night because we're, we're at the gym early. at yes. 8.30. Yes. Yes. Like, no, it's probably. very true. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah, I would be curious though to know like the last thing I could anticipate doing is like at the end of my day when I'm exhausted is going to the gym no. and like having a good workout. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. But a lot of gyms are open 24 hours. Yeah, so and a lot of people, people are go. popping in there at like yeah. 9 o'clock. I see the selfies, I see the Insta stories, yeah. you know what I mean? More if you if them. you're a night owl, drop a comment below, let us know. If you're a morning bird, <laughs> drop a comment, let us know. Um, hopefully this will inspire you to get some type of routine and I think that's what we're trying to say here is that yeah. like getting a routine, getting a flow, figuring out when your creative flow state is and if it if it happens more regularly like, on a daily basis, you know, something to kind of just get your blood pumping, get your brain going, get your soul like awake. You Helps know? you live your best life. Yes, for sure. And that's what it's all about. So again, check out Davey. All the stuff's below. You probably already know who the hell he is, but if you're the 1% who doesn't, you will soon know how amazing <laughs> this guy is. And all, I mean, honestly, like you've just done a lot of stuff with your platform um and just really like said fuck everybody and their thoughts and like what people might say about what you do and i think that's 
what I try to promote is just like be yourself, do what inspires you. You know, I'm very entrepreneurial and that doesn't mean starting businesses all the time. It just means that you have a desire to do something and a passion about it. Mm -hmm. So I envy you on that. Well, thank you. Yeah, of Thanks course. That. That's yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. Catch you later. Peace.